apologize for being late. So, uh, as I said before, I'm Greg Slack, your uh, media relations officer for the Hamilton Police. I'm filling up for Debbie McGreal, who's off today. Um, this is Detective Sergeant Matt Cavanaugh from our homicide unit, and he's uh, agreed to do this briefing to make sure everyone gets all the proper information all at the same time. So, I'm going to turn it over to Detective Sergeant Matt Cavanaugh, and he'll give you the briefing, and then afterwards, he'll take some questions, okay? Detective Sergeant. Good morning. Again, I apologize for being late. This is regarding a missing person, Timothy Bosma. On April 28, 2013, Timothy Bosma posted his 2007 Dodge Ram pickup truck for sale on two different websites. On Monday, May 6, a mail party arranged by telephone to view the truck at Mr. Bosma's residence in Ancaster. At approximately 9.20 p.m., Mr. Bosma went for a test drive with two young males in this pickup truck. Mr. Bosma had told his spouse that the males stated that they were from Toronto. Mr. Bosma has not been seen from or heard from since this time. Police were notified of Mr. Bosma's disappearance immediately by his spouse and the Mountain Criminal Investigation Division began an investigation late on May 6th. Due to the unusual nature of this disappearance, the homicide unit will now take the lead in the investigation as per our policy from the Hamilton Police Service. Through witnesses, police have developed a description of the two males that Mr. Bosma was last seen with. The first male is described as male white, six foot one to six foot two, 170 to 180 pounds. He's in his mid-twenties. Light to medium, short brown hair. Unshaven, wearing blue jeans and a long sleeve orange shirt and running shoes. The second male is also described as a male white, approximately five foot nine to five foot 10 tall small to medium built, early to mid twenties. He was wearing a, he had, I'm sorry, dark hair. He was wearing a, a red hooded sweatshirt. The hood was up over his head. These males were last seen in Mr. Bosma's vehicle, described as a 2007 Dodge Ram pickup, black in color, with Ontario license plate 726, 7ZW. Police are asking anyone with information regarding Mr. Bosma's location are asked to contact Detective Greg Radzoniak of the Homicide Unit at 905-546-4863 or to call Crime Stoppers with any information. Thank you. Matt, when did you develop that uh, profile or, or description of the two suspects? Last night. Was it, uh, why was it held back from the media? It wasn't held back from the media. It was uh, developed last night, and uh, this is the first opportunity we've had to release it. Will you have photos or images of available of your suspects? Right now, there is no video evidence. Uh, will this. you be making drawings? Making drawings? Uh, I haven't talked to my ident about that, but that, that is possible, yes. Which two websites was the account posted on? Kijiji and Auto Trader. Third male that reportedly dropped the other two off. Is there any information about him? Uh, I'm not sure where you're getting that from. It is, it is possible that other people are involved, okay. and uh, we know nothing about those people. Right now, all we have is a description of these two suspects that attended the residence. Was there a car or anything there that they would have left? The residents, uh, the spouse, did not see any other vehicle. How many people came to the house? Two. Only two? Yes. And did she see them? Yes, she did. What is Hamilton Police's policy for getting the homicide squad involved? Uh, it, as I already said in the beginning of this uh, media release, if it's an unusual missing person, then uh, we are to be involved. And this has unusual circumstances right at the onset. So we got involved yesterday, last night. Any sign yet or information at all concerning the truck? None at all. Uh, it's been flagged at the border. 
that's been put out through all police agencies and of course through the media. And uh, hopefully someone locates this vehicle. Are we to assume the suspects are back in Toronto? No, we're not. I, uh, the information that we had from Mr. Bosma, uh, he relayed to his spouse that they were from the Toronto area. I can't confirm that either way, if they were from there or not. Have you been able to, to get into the accounts to see uh, like any email addresses or anything like that yet? Uh, unfortunately, in this case, Mr. Bosma had put his own phone number on the websites, so therefore the uh, people called him directly, and uh, there's no information from the uh, computers to be gained. Did he have his phone with him at the time of uh, his disappearance? Yes, he did. Uh, it's been turned off, but uh, yes, we have uh, some data from it. What kind of searches will you be carrying out? Well, last night, uh, as well as all yesterday and today, and we expect uh, tomorrow, if uh, nothing's found, uh, we have a ground search that includes uh, our canine unit and uh, it includes the OPP officers, uh, includes our uh, search and rescue team, and uh, it's up to the search coordinator, but there are other resources that are available to him, such as uh, an OPP plane. And where is this happening? This is in the Ancaster to Brantford area. How can the public help? I just uh, contact Detective Rudzoniak or Crime Stoppers with any information at all about the description of these two male parties or anything if they see uh, Mr. Bosma's truck. I realize that this is a very common vehicle and. Uh, it, the only difference is that this is a very large vehicle. It's a 3500, which is a work vehicle, and it's also a diesel truck. So any information they can provide. Did Bosma tell his wife where they were heading for the drive, like down the street, any, anything like that? I don't believe Mr. Bosma knew. It was uh, just for a test drive, and they were going out. Okay. What time was the uh, cell phone turned off? Do you know? uh, I'm not going to say that. We have time for just a couple more questions. And, uh, but, it, but, it, but it was turned off. So is this a missing persons case or a murder investigation? This is a missing persons investigation with unusual circumstances. I think I've already spoke, spoke that. Okay. Regarding Thank the, sorry. Go ahead. Regarding the last two, uh, or the two websites, because they're so vastly used by many people, should the public be looking for certain things that might pop up again? On these two websites? Oh, definitely. Uh, description of these mails, if a uh, mail calls them to a uh, to see their pickup. Obviously these males and the evidence that we have so far, they were targeting a certain type of vehicle and it was a Dodge Ram 3500. So if they have that type of vehicle for sale, they are to beware. And uh, use more common sense as far as, uh, you know, to give these people your home address, possibly meet them somewhere in the middle of the day and not in a real location, just for their own safety. So this truck you think is the target, not, not Boston specifically? That's correct. Thank Thanks, you. Everybody.